Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. My name is Shihab Dool, where we tackle smart tech steps and tips for your home and professional projects. Today, I'll show you how to set up a SSH key authentication on your Raspberry Pi from a Windows machine. First, let's talk about why SSH key authentication is important. Passwords are valuable to brute force attacks and consistently typing them in a is in a inefficient, right? So using SSH keys provides a much more secure and convenient way to access your Raspberry Pi remotely. By the end of this tutorial, I'll, uh, you'll be able to log into your Raspberry Pi file without a password using just an SSH key. Before we start, make sure your Raspberry Pi powered up and connect to your network and has a SSH enabled. If you haven't enabled SSH yet, you can do it via the Raspberry Pi configuration tool under preferences or by running the command I'm going to show you. Let's jump in. Okay, you can see I uh, from my Windows machine, I able to SSH to my uh, my Raspberry Pi 5. Let me go ahead and log out, uh, clear this. I'm going to show you how to uh, again ssh to my raspberry pi 5 so let me go ahead and ssh my raspberry pi i'm going to enter the password you can see i'm entering the password so now i enter the password it allow me to rdp uh, ssh to my raspberry pi 5 so this is i'm ssh from my windows machine now uh, just in case if you uh, ssh to your or rdpt or terminal connect to your Raspberry Pi 5. Now, if you don't have enable SSH and you won't enable your SSH, what you need to do is just open the terminal and you're going to type sudo systemctl enable SSH and uh, you need to enter your password. You can see uh, it will enable your SSH and if you want to see sudo systemctl start SSH uh, so we uh, start the uh, SSH so once that is done we'll move to our Windows machine to generate SSH key and copy it to the Raspberry Pi 5 now I'm going to open another uh, window so this is my Windows machine right so what I'm going to do is now on Windows we'll use git bash to generate SSH, SSH keys and communicate with our Raspberry Pi 5. So if you don't have Git Bash installed, go uh, head over to the official Git website, download the install and set it up. Okay. Now I, I believe you already done it and I'm not going to show you how to install the Git Bash. It's very simple. Go to uh, Git Bash and install. Okay. This is the Git, uh, Git Bash. Uh, okay. Uh, Git Bash site can see https git.sm downloads git bash and you, what you need to do is download for windows okay i'm going to put these links to my description youtube description field so you can uh, you know download uh so it's going to download 64 bit version for windows this is most recent okay if you want to download other version you can go ahead and version click here to download so it's going to download from the background you can see once it's down just install it and open the git bash from your windows machine okay now let's get uh, let's generate the ssh key pair now open your windows machine and run the this uh, command so what i'm going to do ssh uh, keygen i'm going to type T R S A b 4096 so this command generates a 4096 bit rsa key pair which is very secure when asked where to save the key just press the enter to use the default location you can also set up a password share for added security but for simplicity in this video i'm going to skipping it 
okay i'm going to just enter and enter done let's go ahead and just uh, let me give you a uh, explanation on, on this uh, the, the the key I, I just type right that the first one ssh dash keygen is a uh, utility for creating a new authentication key pairs for ssh by default it creates a private key and a public key in your dot uh, uh, ssh directory you can see dot ssh directory and after that we can see dash t r s a specify the type of key to create right uh, so r s a stands for uh, reverse shamir adlimon in an algor algor uh, algorithm used to use for public key crypto uh, graphy uh, r s a uh, is widely supported and is one of the most commonly used key types and after that, we can see dash B uh, set, sets the bit size of the key to 4096 bits. A larger bit size means a stronger key, making it more secure against brute force attacks. The default bit size for RSA key is usually uh, 2048 bits, 2048 bits. So 4096 bits provides in hand security right got it uh, now we need to copy the public key to our raspberry pi 5 there's an easy way to do this using ssh uh, copy command i'm going to get back to that in a bit so first of all make sure you know the ip address of your raspberry pi 5 if you don't you can find it using a network scanning from your windows machine like advanced ip scanner or the firewall or you can log into terminal to your raspberry pi 5 and find out the ip address or if you can ssh you can type host name dash uh, host name dash i so once you type host name dash i you can find the ip address so it's a must you need to know the ip address of your raspberry pi 5. next what you need to do here you need to open the uh, git bash and run some commands okay so uh, the way because now I open the terminal uh, command prompt on my uh, Windows machine now if you want to open the git bash you just click this and you can see the git bash in here click that just in case if you can't find it in the git bash in the same uh, you know open a new tab uh, so probably you already installed the git bash just open that git bash from the separate you know command and it will prompt like this now what you need to do here is uh, you need to type ssh copy id and your username your raspberry uh, raspberry pi 5 raspberry device username uh, my use is my user and i'm going to enter my uh, IP address 192.168.86.57. If I am correct, your yeah, ADC 57 and hit enter. Now, uh, make sure you replace the IP address with your Raspberry Pi physical actual IP address, not this address. So, probably you need to find out and also the username of your Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, now let's do a quick review on what we uh, achieve in here. Um, so you can see SSH copy ID, this path, okay? So uh, the purpose, this command copy your, copies your public SSH key from local machine to the remote server, allowing you to log in without a password in the future. Now, SSH copy ID, right uh, at least that simplifies the process of copying your public ssh key to a remote server and this one is the username and ip address of the remote server where you want to install your public key now let's do the output explanation you can see user uh this path right so the first one let's take the first one 
so this is the script o utility uh, being run and after that this part installed okay so inform uh, informational message indicating which keys will be copied and after that this one the part to your public ssh key on your local machine so this is the uh, keys on your local machine right so this script you, uh, has located public key at this path c uses and my profile name and this is the path so this is the key that will be copied to the remote server now the next one is you can see user bin info attempt to login with the new keys filled out any that all been stored so this script tries to log in to the remote server using the uh, using any existing keys to check if the key is already installed so if your key was already installed on the remote server this step would prevent duplicate entries since this is the uh, this is likely the first time the key isn't there yet okay the next one main to be installed if you are prompted now it's to install the new keys so uh one keys remain to be installed you can see that this path one keys remains to be installed there's one key your public key that needs to be copied to the remote server after that you can if you are prompt now it's uh prompted now it's it is to install the new keys so this script informs you that if you are prompted for password it's for installing the key it's for installing the key right now i am in here my user password so so what's happening here is the remote service is requesting the password for the uh, user my user reason since your public key isn't installed on the remote server yet you need to authenticate using the password to proceed so what you need to do is you need to enter the password for my user now i'm going to type that okay uh, i think i i i i didn't show you that uh, once the first one when i enter the password actually i entered the wrong password so that's why i didn't get anything uh, now i re uh, did that you know re uh, copy that again and I, after that i enter the correct password then i get a saying that now try log into the machine with ssh key blah blah okay so now it's added so now let's uh, test again now i'm going to use ssh uh you can see uh 18 asked for the password so i'm going to exit again uh in here exit again let me you know what i'm going to open a new new window new uh windows terminal and i'm going to use ssh uh this is my username this is my raspberry pi IP address I'm going to enter you can see I didn't enter any password it just uh, went to login directly without entering the password so you should know uh, you should now be uh, you should now be login to your Raspberry Pi without having to enter your password and now and in the future right uh, now next step is if you want to disable the password you can do it this, uh, but this is optional but it's very very recommended because whoever get the password not able to log into your uh, raspberry pi 5 from a different machine you know uh, because it will not allow you because only your machine is a key authentication machine is able to log in without the password so that's why uh, it's good practice to disable the password so no one can log into your uh, uh, raspberry pi 5 let's jump in and do that
Okay, let's jump in now. Let me tell you again, to further secure your Raspberry Pi 5, you can disable the password-based SSH login entirely. Here's how you can do that. Now, uh, open your SSH, your Raspberry Pi 5, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type sudo nano etc ssh and I'm going to uh, ssh hd dash config. Uh, did I type it correctly? Yes. I'm going to enter the password. Yeah, you need to enter the password when, once you do all this configuration. I'm talking about the SSH directly, uh, SSH, you don't need to enter the password, but whatever you do the configuration part, you need to do the uh, password, okay? Now, uh, we need to find the uh, two lines. So make sure they are uh, set like this. So password authentication, let me go ahead. Oh, here, here you go. So you can see in here, uh, password authentication, you can see yes. Uh, so what we need to do here is, I'm going to omit this password authentication. I'm going to say no. And after that, we need to find public key authentication. Yep. It's up here. Password of the public key. So in here, I'm going to omit this. Public authentication, yes. So we do password authentication to no and public authentication to yes. Now we need to save it. I'm going to use control X and I'm going to say Y. I'm going to hit enter. Now uh, we save the file and we then we need to restart the SSH services. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sudo systemctl restart SSH. Okay, so, uh, so with the password authentication is disabled, so only those with the correct SSH key can access your Raspberry Pi 5, making it much more secure. That's what we need to do, right? So now we did that. I'm going to do exit again. I'm going to use this. Uh, you can see I'm able to log into the uh, my Raspberry Pi 5 without the password. But we also disable the password. So that means if anyone find out my password, they cannot log into my Raspberry Pi 5 with any other machines. Okay, that's uh, what that's okay. That's it, right? So now you have secure and con secure and convenient SSH key based access to your Raspberry Pi 5 from your Windows machine. No more password, just your key. So bonus tip. If you set a password share, the, the first time you I enter, you know, I skip that. Uh, for your SSH key, you can use the SSH agent to catch your password share. So you only need to enter it once. I'll cover that in another video. So make sure to subscribe for more Raspberry Pi tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Let me know in the comments if there are other Raspberry Pi project you like me to cover. Until next time, keep uh, hacking like a samurai. See you soon.